Hi everyone, I'm Alex Harper, and I work on the open source and platform teams at Lottie Files. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the open source projects which Lottie Files uses and contributes back to, why we work with open source software, and if you're interested, how you might be able to get involved. What is open source? When someone writes software, they will typically distribute or deploy something that's user friendly. So for instance, visiting a website using Microsoft Word or playing an Xbox game are all very easy and don't typically require any knowledge of software programming. This can be very convenient for the end user unless they want to alter the software because there's a bug or maybe they have an idea for a new feature. Open source software means that a system has its source code shared and it's typically available for users to modify for their own use. There's a huge number of open source projects available on GitHub and Lottie Files also has created some popular and useful open source projects. Open source projects have had an incredible impact on the technological landscape, and it's almost certain that the computer, tablet, or phone that you use day to day has some significant open source software running on it. And that's true for Windows, Linux, Mac, and Android. Even the internet is built on a huge number of open source technologies and standards. Lossy Files contributes to open source projects because it's a great way to help build lasting value and a community. By having open libraries for working with Lottie animations, we enable our users to come up with new interesting features, reuse the code in their own applications, and spread the use of Lottie in ways which we would never have thought of by ourselves. The more people and companies that use Lottie technology, the stronger the ecosystem becomes. Let's take you through a few of the open source projects that Lottie Files team are currently working on. You'll find all of our open source projects available at github.com slash Files. If you're interested in getting the projects and running them locally, You'll need an editor such as VS Code, as well as a Git client. We won't cover that in this video, as there's already a ton of high quality tutorials available elsewhere regarding getting started. Gay Lottie is a Lottie animation player which targets a popular subset of the available Lottie features. The JLotty player was started as an experimental player, seeing if it was possible to create a JavaScript player with a tiny code base while retaining as many of the essential playback features as possible. As a result, it's a very compact project with a deployed size of around 12 KB, while supporting around 80% of the current Lottie spec. The primary use case of JLotty is enabling web apps to have animated UI components, such as reactions, and it can enable a large number of concurrent animations on a web page without significantly affecting the playback speed, which is great for user experience. JLotty already has some great community interests and contributions. Here you can see a demo using JLotty. It's really easy to implement in a project and has very similar setup compared to other Lottie players. Lottie Player is the Lottie Web Player as an easy to use web component. It's built on top of the open source Lottie Web to give more power to the design and animation community. It's one of our most popular open source projects. It's used in over 500 other projects, has been starred over 700 times, and the node package gets an incredible 20,000 downloads per week. The code is available at github.com slash lottiefiles slash lottie-player. If you would like to embed an animation in your web app, you can visit lottiefiles.com slash webplayer and use the dialog there to really easily and quickly create an embed snippet. To show how easy it is, here you can copy the snippet to a web page running locally. We hit refresh and instantly we have the animation running locally. Lottie Interactivity allows you to hook up your Lottie animations to various UI events and user interactions such as scroll, mouse position, and clicks. And you can also chain animations to create all kinds of interesting effects. The code is available at github.com slash lottiefiles slash lottie-interactivity. An event demo page is available at lottiefiles.com slash interactivity. I'll keep it brief as Lottie Interactivity is covered in detail in another one of our tutorials by Sam, who's the main, main developer working on it. Lottie theming is available at github.com slash lottiefiles slash lottie-theming. It's a library that allows you to create and apply theme files to lotties. The theme file is a property collection and a map, which enables you to change the properties of a lottie animation dynamically. There's a ton of great use cases for this, such as applying color themes to work with light and dark mode, changing text or images for a specific language or culture, or anything else you can think of maybe having a special theme for significant events, such as Christmas or New Year. 
Theming is currently available for the web players, but we're actively working on enabling it for desktop and mobile as well in the very near future. We think that enabling theming and interactivity with Lotties will enable some amazing creativity, and we can't wait to see what designers and developers can come up with. Lottie is an open source file format that aggregates one or more Lottie files and their associated resources into a single file. There is zip archives compressed with the deflate compression method and carry the file extension of .lottie. Lottie files have a number of open source tools for helping to work with .lottie and we're making it a first class citizen of the Lottie files platform. Right now, we enable you to export .lottie from our desktop apps, use .lottie on the web platform and have players to enable .lottie use on the web. We also work with Microsoft to enable .lottie playback inside the Windows UWP platform Lottie player. We have a lot of ideas for the future of .lottie and we're excited to share them with the community. We welcome any feedback or suggestions for use cases we've not yet thought of. I hope you've enjoyed the quick tour of the Lottie Files open source ecosystem. Open source is all about community and making what's useful for everyone, not just beneficial to one company. New people are always welcome and we're adding tasks which could be suitable for first time contributors. We're currently growing the open source team at Lottie Files and would love to hear from users that have any ideas for what we should build next.